What's up guys, it's Aristov FPV here with the Silver Shadow homemade UAV for medium to long range FPV flying. This video covers the flight data of a range test I've flown with a 2.4 GHz Yagi antenna with 11 decibels of gain on my Tyrannus radio to see how far I could fly before failsafe with an X8R receiver. The aircraft weights 1.8 kg with an onboard Mobius camera and a 5000 mAh 4 cell LiPo. I've also included a BSC system that powers an inboard and onboard DVR recorder and the Mobius camera as well. Here is an overview of all the electronics of the aircraft. So as you guys saw, I made myself ready for the uneventful takeoff and the weather was pretty good. It was nice and sunny. Um, clouds were present, uh, rain clouds actually, and there was this one moment in flight in which it started raining at where the plane was, but not where I was. But I discovered that later on when I reviewed the footage because I couldn't see the droplets or anything else like that on the FPV feed. So being at approximately 1.35 kilometers away, uh, I'm quite surprised to see on the footage that the plane just cruised at 3.5 amps, which is incredibly low. I'm still maintaining a speed of 30 to 35 kilometers per hour and maintaining the altitude and even climbing it as well. I think it could be because of thermal activities or just the warmth of the air picking up the plane or you know increasing its speed temporarily uh, but normally it cruises just above 5 amps uh, maintaining the same speed. So at 2.75 kilometers, the opposite happened with the cruise speed and the cruise amperage because my throttle was all the way up to 8 amps, which is approximately 75% throttle and the cruise speed was lower than before. The only explainable reason is the headwind, which I faced coming from the northwest, but later on the plane just uh, cruised up forward with approximately 6 amps, maybe even less to maintain that speed or even higher speed. So the only explainable reason, like I said, was just the headwind that was big. Uh, overwhelming for the plane to creep into that wind with a pretty high throttle setting. So I'm four kilometers out at this point at the opposite side of the waters and the video signal was still great. Sometimes it would lose its picture but then regain the signals. The radio link, I would not know, but I'm guessing approximately 70 to 90% RSSI because the aircraft just responds as quick as it would be at one kilometer out. So I just kept cruising along.
So being at a distance of almost five and a half kilometers out and counting, I got blown away by the capability of the Yagi antenna to push the X8R receiver this far out. Not to mention that the conditions were normal because they were not optimal, neither were they worse. But the video picture, the video link started to break up earlier because the picture would get exponentially bad. Like per 250 meters or so, or per 300 meters, the picture would flash in black and white, show snowy feed, and that the potential failsafe would be because of the video link and not the radio link. So still being at this mystery of what the actual range could be with the X8R receiver and 11 dB Yagi antenna would be the answer to another range test with this aircraft or another one with the X8R receiver. So being at a distance in which the video link got bad enough that I couldn't even see the horizon nor the parameters, I activated return to home. So looking back at the HD footage, I could clearly see the droplets falling from the sky. But the thing was, where I stood a couple of kilometers away from the plane, the sun was still shining and I couldn't see the rain through the FPV. But at one moment I just felt the rain coming and realized that it has already started raining at where the plane was. And knowing that the elevator servo, which is the most crucial servo, has been exposed to the rain, I just took over the control and tried to get the plane at home as fast as possible. So at one moment it stopped raining thankfully and I just loitered a bit for a clearance and then I just came in for the most buttery landing I ever made. So disassembling the plane and putting it in the car I felt pretty good because the flight was successful and I pushed an X8R uh, medium range receiver up to a distance that you would get with the L9R long range receiver thanks to the Yagi antenna. But that still leaves the question, what is the potential range with the Yagi and X8R combo? Would it be seven kilometers, eight, nine, or maybe even 10 kilometers or more? But that's up to future FPV flights that will be recorded and published on this channel. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, maybe even a comment to support the video and the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.